Hi guys, this is Sandy Ingram. Welcome. This is an emergency video. I am not using my AI enhancement, which helps me to pronounce the words correctly. I'm using my raw voice because this is urgent. I know some of you are extremely concerned because a couple of people mentioned in the comments section that Iraq has overprinted their money. And if they revalue, it would be trillions of dollars, which Iraq does not have. Therefore, some of you appear to have lost faith. This video is to explain this situation. The channel has known for two years or more that Iraq overprinted the money, but so has the U.S. government. The channel has been looking at what other developing countries have done. This is when you begin receiving videos about traveling to realize your IQD profits. People in high places recommended the channel for saying this to the point that the channel pulled back on the topic. But in using common sense, what else can Iraq do? One. They could reprint new money. That would mean that you, I, anyone would need to travel if allowed to exchange your Iraqi dinar banknotes for the new currency, like Zimbabwe did. They gave the world two weeks to travel and make the exchange. In Zimbabwe's case, it did not matter if you were a citizen or not. If you showed up with the old currency that was used in the country in 2024, then you received the new ZIG, Z-I-G, currency. Could we be so lucky with Iraq? First of all, Iraq has a level four do not travel alert by the U.S. State Department. Secondly, it is not safe in Iraq for Americans. The channel wanted to hire a person who could be bonded to help us with this problem. But remember, this idea was not met with support from you. The channel worked hard on research and has been trying to get you to see this issue without creating fear and without being reprimanded. We know Iraq will thrive if there are no full-blown wars, and even then, the oil revenue would continue to go up. No one is giving up on Iraq. However, we must be smart about how we look at our options, and we may not have a choice. We may have to travel. 